Hey Libra, welcome to your general forecast for the end of March. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome returning. Thank you for coming back. So Libra, we're going to take a look at the energy around you at this time. Could be love, general, career, finance. We're going to take the energies as they come and whatever comes out, comes out. So please only take what resonates. Um, don't try to make it fit. If it's not your story, it's not your story. It's for the uh, general collective. So it may not be for everybody. And this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter, male or female. Doesn't matter. We're going to see what energies are around you at this time, Libra. So welcome, everybody. Hope everybody's doing well. So let's see what's going on for Libra at this time. I say at this time, Libra, I consider my readings timeless. So below you will find your general and love playlist, along with the decks I'm using, social media links, how to reach out for personal reading. If you'd like to tip, donate, send a gift, all that info is below. And if you're not comfortable um, sending a gift or an energy exchange through PayPal during the premiere and the premiere only, Super Chat is open and available for energy exchanges and donations if you choose to. And if you do, thank you. And also, a lot of the information I mentioned will be pinned to the top comment. So let's see, Libra, what's going on for you? This is a Zodiac Oracle, so if you get a sign, element, or planet to start with, if you don't resonate with comes out here, totally fine. I'll pull one of these for our opening message for you. Pull another one for your energy. We'll clarify that with the tarot, all that energy. And then we'll get the actual situation, advice, possible outcome, extra messages from the healing fairies at the end. And these cards over here, I got at the dollar uh, family, not the family, do the um, dollar tree. And they're prayer cards. They had two kinds. I mixed them together. And... Um, you could call it a prayer or an affirmation, and I'll pull one of those at the end for you. All right, Libra, let's see what's going on for you. And I just want to say that I did get over the flu a few weeks ago, and I still have a lingering cough and some congestion. So if I do cough periodically through the reading, I just want to apologize in advance. I can't really help it. I feel fine other than a little bit of congestion and a cough, and I don't know what it is. But <clears throat> So I apologize in advance for any coughing. Okay. Libra, Libra, Libra. Let's see what's going on for Libra. Sign, element, or planets at this time for this general collective reading spirit, please. Thank you so much. Wow. Okay. That one flying on the floor. I got to go get it. Okay. We have Virgo. And I think that came out again. That came out um, before, maybe either in your last reading or your last general reading. But I do remember Virgo came out for you before. <coughs> Excuse me. So some of you definitely could be uh, dealing with a Virgo here. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Jupiter. Or maybe you have it in your chart. But Virgo in the tarot, in the ma uh, major arcana, does represent the hermit. And that's about going in, going within, and doing deep soul-searching work kind of energy, so thinking, contemplating, retreating kind of energy, so I don't know if that means anything, so we'll see what's going on here. So I'm going to get opening message for you, Libra. What is Libra, what is Libra's opening message, Spirit, please? What's going on for Libra at this time? Spirit, please. Thank you so much. What is the opening message for Libra spirit, please. Thank you. What is the opening message for Libra? Right, feeling that one. And we have new beginnings. 20 here, which is uh, the judgment card, Archangel Jeremiah. Starting a new life, finding your purpose, a forgiving and compassionate review of the past. So this is about doing a life review um, of the past. Forgiving something can be also resurrecting and forgiving. And to me, the judgment card sometimes is about making a final decision, a final judgment call on a, a person, place, or thing, or situation. And uh, can also be about um, bringing soulmates together. So whether or not this is going to be about love, not sure. But it's saying here that there is a new beginning or a new opportunity coming for you here, uh, Libra. So, and or this could be about forgiving you know, if you're forgiving something here and starting a new life or reviewing your life and seeing what you need to forgive so you can move on peacefully. I kind of see that angel coming down, bringing peace, harmony, and balance. 
All right, so Libra. What is Libra's opening energy for Libra Spirit, please? What is their opening energy like? Four of Cups, okay. Four of Raphael, so Four of Cups. Seek out other possibilities. Look for the magic in life. Be aware of your own emotions. So this is about feeling kind of bored. Um, it's a bored, just bored in life, bored in love. Um, like new, no new opportunities coming in, going out. Nothing's really happening. Feel still, feeling still, stagnant and blah. That's my blah card. So wherever you were still stagnant and blah you now have an opportunity for a new beginning. So let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. The sun, so there you go, Archangel Uriel. Life is wonderful, thrive through the power of positive thinking and inspiring success. So the sun here is very, very good energy. It's the most positive card in the deck. It's the best card in the deck. You know, it's about success, victory, healing, enlightenment, happy home and family. Um, everything, everything positive with the sun. So wherever you were feeling bored in your life, feeling blah, <laughs> could be work, career, love, friend, families, whatever here. Now you're, you're coming into a new beginning full of happiness and joy, enlightenment, healing, very positive, positive new beginning here after a period of being kind of bored and blah and just kind of discontent. Now you will be very, very content. So let's see what's going on here for you, Libra. What is this energy all about for Libra spirit, please? And I want to say thank you to all those who have um, supported me in the channel in any way you have. Thank you, thank you. And in honor of reaching 10,000 subscribers, if you have not heard already, I am still having a giveaway. It's still open through the end of March. You can win a free tarot deck by me and also a free 20-minute reading of your choice by me. So I will do your reading with the deck. You will win the deck. I'll send it out to you. So if you're interested in, in participating in the giveaway, check the description box and the pin top, com pin top to comment on how to enter. And if you do, thank you and good luck. So let's clarify this energy for Libra. What is this Four of Cups about in this new beginning? Now being going from bored and discontent to very happy and content in some sort of new beginning. What is this about for Libra spirit, please? Thank you so much. Wow, that's way too many. I'm feeling this one. Seven of Cups, so... <coughs> Sorry, it could have been, again, you know, looking at different options, a little confused, daydreaming. Did you see this little girl kind of sitting there daydreaming, looking into the seashells here? Daydreaming of a better life. So you could have been daydreaming of a better life. Here, um, looking at options, decisions, situations, feeling a little confused. All right. And these are all the other possibilities. So seek out other possibilities. And this does say possibility. Wow. So, yeah, I can't make that up. So what else here for feeling that one? Libra. The world. So right after judgment. 20 comes 21 in the world. So yeah, that's ending cycles and chapters and now starting a new cycle and chapter in life. Regeneration. So yeah, you're ending, you're closing out cycles that are no longer fulfilling, no longer working, wherever you were bored and stagnant and blah. Ending out that chapter and now some sort of new beginnings coming in for you. You could have been wishing for it, daydreaming for it, looking at possibilities and all of a sudden, boom, it's here and now you're happy and content. So let's see what this new chapter is. For how many? Oh, that's way too many. For well, Libra, new chapter, new chapter. What is this about? All right. So I think I'm gonna take all these stuff. Wow. So um, <laughs> could be a love situation. We have a lot of cups here. So whatever this was, I think affected you emotionally, um, in some way. But we do have. We got the sun twice here. The eight of cups. So walking away from something that is no longer fulfilling, but walking to or going to something change. So something change coming in here, things leaving that are no longer fulfilling and something more fulfilling coming in. And there's the contentment with the sun. And it could be a soulmate union here, partnership with the two of cups. Doesn't have to be. 
It could be a lover, it could be a friend, family, co-worker, I don't know, something here. But it's a partnership of some kind coming in here. And we have the sun again, so total, total success, victory, contentment, happy home and family, healing, success. I mean, everything positive with the sun. <coughs> so let's get one more. So we got change and partnership to happiness, regeneration, possibility. And maybe you didn't think this was going to happen, especially with the four of cups energy of feeling kind of blah and discontent. Like maybe I'm never going to find my person. That could be it too. And then bam, all of a sudden uh, the wheel of fortune comes in. So fate, destiny, divine timing, things going in a better direction, things going in your favor, things going a heck of a lot better than where you've been. We've been bored and sad, content and blah. Now we have all these um, energies here of like the cycles, the sun, the world, and the wheel of fortune. Everything turning in your favor. The sun for double happiness and joy. The world for a whole new cycle. The wheel of fortune again in the world turning <coughs> in your favor. <coughs> I'm so sorry. So yeah, divine timing and destiny here is on your side and in your favor, Libra. <coughs> okay, sometimes it happens. I start to do a reading <coughs> and I get a really, really bad scratchy, tickly throat. And it's like, really at this time, does this have to happen? <laughs> Okay, so we have a tower here for the actual situation, which is destruction. And to me, the tower can always represent... Now, we're going to actually look at your actual situation. It can re represent destruction or something crumbling down, something happening, something disruptive. But it also can mean epiphany, aha moment, or a surprise, I feel, also. But let's see. Let's see. Why is the Eight of Cups here for... I mean, the tower? Because <laughs> it's right on the Eight of Cups, so I was just looking at that. Okay, so I need one more for Libra for the actual situation. Okay, there we go. So, let's see. We have the Seven of Swords, the Knight of Wands, the King of Swords. So that's your energy, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, and the High Priestess energy. So I feel here... <clears throat> there may have been a tower moment, break up, shake up, something, something happened here where there was some sort of ending for you. Something collapsed, something ended, was over probably here. Maybe you had to, this does seven of swords, does say loss, but to me it's always an energy of kind of sneaking or having to get out of or away of a situation. So whatever this tower moment was for you, in your life, it could have been anything, whatever, you know, if there was a disruption or breakdown, shakeup of some sort, it could have come as a surprise here. And maybe you realize, okay, I got to get out of this situation. So activity, Knight of Wands is usually, you know, very fiery, passionate energy moving forward with a lot of drive, ambition and passion. But I feel like you gain clarity in a situation here, especially with the King of Swords is all about clarity, um, Truth and honesty, cutting away things no longer serving you, standing up, not backing down, telling it like it is. Very logical energy. It's all with the mind. So I feel like whatever this tower was for you, you've gained the clarity. You gained the clarity. You listened to your gut and your intuition about this and said, okay, this came in. And maybe it was something that never happened. It could have been with a partner. Maybe uh, they did something they never did before. You've seen, seen a side of them you never seen before. And you're like, okay, now I have to get out of this situation. Or it could have been a work situation. Whatever whatever it was for you, I feel like there was something that happened that made you see some something or somebody's or situation's true colors that you've never seen before. And it hit you like lightning and said, okay, and made you maybe very emotional, really bothered you. And you're like, okay, I have to now get out of this. I don't care what I do. I have to get out, away, whatever. 
gaining that clarity, listening to your intuition. Okay, this is the right thing to do for me. So, you know, getting very uh, passionate about getting away from this and um, just getting away and out of the situation. So you, some of you could have went solo. Some of you could have left a job. Some of you could have uh, cut out family members or friends out of your life. Um, that weren't serving you because of this. This is like putting the sword down, like, okay, this is it, no more. Like taking a stance. And maybe, you know, you didn't really tell anybody or too many people what you were doing, you know? So you may not be communicating with these uh, people or situation or whatever this was here. I don't think you're communicating anymore to, to that situation or people or whatever it was for you but you intuitively knew it was the right thing to do and you listened to your gut and your intuition because you had that clarity all right and i think feel too by maybe you know could have been something weighing you down maybe by leaving whatever it was for you behind now you feel more zest passionate free to do what you want to do having like a zest for life again if that makes sense for you feeling like a very youthful energy all right so let's get some advice for you libra but again closing out those cycles so and now things just getting better for you double sun the wheel the world twice you know the world once and we have um judgment there so you made a final decision here that once this tower this something happened here you made that decision judgment call by listening to your intuition and having the clarity getting out and away from something and now you're like you feel like a whole new person i feel you could have met a new soulmate you could make new friends um social groups with the two of cups maybe even a new job all right so let's get some advice for you libra the king of cups so now you're feeling much, much more uh, emotionally stable, much more understanding, compassionate, loving, nurturing, caring, giving. Two of Pentacles, so that, you know, sometimes you still feel a little unstable, but you, you still, you know, you're ready to move forward here with love, compassion. Um, this could be moving forward in love for some of you. So some of you may have just regained your balance here again with the options so let's get one more for your advice for libra please one more for the advice for libra and this one healing so we do have uh temperance here or is this the star that's 14 I think that's temperance. So I do believe this deck is a little bit different and I don't use it often, but I do believe that is, uh, I do believe that is, um, it's either the star or it's temperance. Oh boy, so uh, I just want to double check because I don't want to read it wrong. Although the temperance and the angel are almost like the same thing in a way. Uh, let's see. Yeah, it's, uh, it's temperance. That's what I thought it was. So this is about, um, sorry guys, this is about getting, so we have imbalance here or, you know, feeling a little, you know, off balance, but now we have healing and balance and patience. So, and then we have the ace of wands at the bottom. So there's your fiery passionate new beginning growth. So what if this new cycle is for you? It could be with a new love partner now, a whole new cycle in life with a love partner, a new job, career new friends, uh, social circles, co-workers here. But I feel like you're moving forward now uh, with balance, 
peace, harmony, healing energy, being very patient now with yourself and those around you, and uh, coming from a loving, caring, nurturing, giving place. We do have a proposal here, so some of you could actually get proposed to. It could be leveling up a um, relationship or something like that, or somebody proposing love coming in proposing love and balancing out the energy here. So however this resonates for you, whatever your situation is, there is a new beginning here of contentment. <coughs> Libra. So let's see what the possible outcome is for you, Libra spirit, please. In this, whatever your situation is for you. So now we have the king of wands. Did we have the queen? No. So we have the King of Cups, the Queen of Wands, uh, King of Wands, King or Queen, doesn't matter. We have a lot of different energies here. The King of Swords, so well, that's your energy. We do have the Knight of Wands, King of Cups, King of... Maybe some of you have two options between two people or two jobs or two something here. But so we have Death here, which is uh, something ending. And there's a new beginning, transformation. So let's see what else. And now the Page of Cups. So this could be apologies. This could be a love offer, communication, loving communication. So we've got the love offer and we got the Knight of Cups of moving forward with that offer. So some of you definitely here could be either connecting with a water sign or a fire sign or have an option between two. Or some of you could have left behind a water or a fire sign moving to a water or a fire sign. But something definitely ended here. Could have ended something with a fire sign. There could have been a player, that nine of wands, knight of wands energy. And maybe this is the tower moment, saying, okay, I gotta get out of this. And now all of a sudden you have this new person who could be a water sign, uh, balancing out the energies, bringing in love, peace, and harmony. If it's not that, some of you definitely are starting a new cycle with a soulmate or a new job or getting rid of friends or f even family or co-workers that are no longer serving you and starting a whole new cycle of some kind and either love new friends or new job or something like that because some something happened here that really shook you up and you just had to get out of that situation some of you there could have been an actual passing of somebody here although I'm not really getting that so let's see what's on the bottom of the deck so we have the Queen of Cups, right? So we have the King and the Queen of Cups here. So I definitely feel like some of you could be connecting now with a water sign after you left behind a fire sign. Matching couple here, soulmate energy, King and Queen of Cups. Judgment call. So we got judgment twice here coming in again. So forgiveness, healing, uh, making a final decision and judgment call. Judgment angel here brings the soulmates together. So does the temperance angel. So two angels here bringing the soulmates together. Wheel of Fortune, something meant to be, divine intervention, the hermit energy. So here's that Virgo energy. Going within, contemplating, thinking, rejuvenating, healing, finding your passion, your way, your light. Ten of Wands, laying down a heavy burden, something no longer serving you. So whatever came in here that shook you up, really burdened you, um, does have responsibility. So maybe it was just too much responsibility, laying that down. Now restarting and resetting at zero, taking a leap of faith, jumping right in with the fool energy. So you go from 20 to 21, from that to back to zero with the fool, and now here's the fool, taking a leap of faith, and then the magician. So <laughs> you go from the end to the beginning, starting over, manifesting a brand new beginning here. And past life soulmate, soulmate from the past, past life relationship, nostalgia, people, places, and things from the past. And then we have the Three of Swords here for heartache and pain. So definitely could have been that situ situation of before. But now you're connecting with the soulmate, manifesting this new beginning. It could be also something, reconnecting from something from your past. A past job or um, something you wanted to do since childhood. Reconnecting with old family and friends you haven't seen in a forever or a long, long time. So let's see, we do have here Gemini Virgo. Aquarius, Virgo again, Scorpio, Cancer Scorpio Pisces, we have uh, Taurus, Leo, Aquarius, and 
Scorpio. We have Leo, Sagittarius, uh, Pisces, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, Water again, Leo, Sagittarius, Scorpio, um, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. So, I mean, we have a lot of energies here. We have Leo twice. We have Scorpio twice. Um, all right, so let's see let's get some closing messages so i feel new beginning full of happiness and contentment whatever your situation is for you all right so libra let's get some closing messages with this deck i do ask libra if you're new please check out my channel if you like what you see please feel free to like share subscribe and comment hit the bell you won't miss out and i love to read the comments you get about five readings a month to love to general a bonus i may be switching that up but if you head on over to my community tab of my channel, I have two polls I would like everybody to participate in. One, you can vote on what kind of readings you would like to see every month. And another one is to vote if you would uh, be interested in purchasing extended readings from the YouTube readings. So if you participate in that, thank you. And I would love it if everybody would go on over and vote. All right, so let's get some extra messages for you, Libra. Vacation. So some of you may need to go on vacation, especially if you've just been through something here and you're feeling a little overwhelmed kind of energy. Some uh, you time, alone time, vacation time, as with the Virgo Hermit energy may be needed. What do we have here? Visualization. So this is, again, with the possibility, see with the Seven of Cups, visualizing your future, you know, what you want to come next in your life, you know, daydreaming and really imagining the th things you want in life, the things of the future. And now we have kick up your heels. So again, we'll look at that page of wands energy, having a zest for life again. Good luck coming in with the rainbow. So this is saying to kick up your heels and move forward in life passionately, fearlessly, and just go for it in this new beginning. Go out and have some fun. Go on vacation, go out and have some fun. All right. So Libra, let's get closing prayer affirmation for you, Libra spirit, please. For Libra, let's get a closing prayer or affirmation for Libra, please. Thank you so much. Wow. Okay. Very slippery. Slippery. Slippery suckers. For Libra. Okay. I think I'm going to take this one. And we have, when I am afraid, I put my trust in you. So maybe this person, you know, um, and this talks of, you know, higher beings, but also I think this person, you could put your trust in this person if you're afraid or scared of this new cycle or a new relationship or something like that. I feel like you could trust this person and uh, they'll be very supportive for you, loving, caring, nurturing, giving kind of energy also. And I think they'll always be there for you, Libra. Okay, Libra, uh, best of luck to you. Sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel, is to always, always shine your light.